Hi everyone, today we're going to look at how we expand brackets. Now any time that we have a number stuck up against the brackets, it means that we need to be multiplying. Okay, there's a little invisible multiplication symbol that's going on in here. And every single thing that happens in those brackets is going to get multiplied by the number that's directly in front. Let me show you what I mean. So I always, always draw arrows. It saves me from forgetting any component. Okay, and this will be particularly important when you get um, into year, uh, year 10 and year 11, where you have sets of brackets up against each other and you're having to multiply multiple components. Don't worry about that now. Let's just focus on if we have a number swooshed up against some brackets, we're going to be multiplying everything in here by the number in front. So this 3 is being multiplied by the P, and then this 3 is multiplying with the 4 as well. Okay, so I need to be doing two separate lots of multiplication. Okay, so here I've got three, and these are all times, so I'm gonna put little times up there. So three times P gives me three P. Okay, cool, that's the first one done. Now let's look at the next one. I've got three times positive four, so three fours are 12, and because the number's positive, I'm gonna put a little plus in there. Awesome, and I can't, simplify this any further because I can't add a 12 to something that has a P on it, so I just have to leave it there and that's our answer. Whereas over here, I have a 5 smooshed up against a bracket, which means everything in this set of brackets gets multiplied by 5. So I'm multiplying this by 5, and this by 5, and this by 5. So in this case, I'm doing three separate lots of multiplication. Okay, so first up, I've got a 5 multiplying with 2b. So here, I'm just going to be multiplying the numbers together. So 5 times 2 is 10, and then I put the b on the end. All right, now I've got 5 times c, which gives me 5c. And because it's positive, I'm going to put a little plus. Now I'm going to go 5 times 6, which gives me 30. And because it's a positive 30, I'm going to put a plus. There we go, now I've got 10b plus 5c plus 30. And I can't simplify these any further because they're not like terms. So that's my answer. Okay, and then lastly, I have a number up against the brackets and another number up against the set of brackets. So I'm going to draw my arrows. So this 4 is multiplying with the h, and this 4 is multiplying with the 1. And then over here, I've got a 5 that's multiplying with the 9, and a 5 that's multiplying with the negative 7h. So I'm going to be doing four separate lots of multiplication. So 4 times h gives me 4h. 4 times positive 1 gives me positive 4. So I put a little plus in there. Then I move over to the 5. So 5 times 9 is 45. And it's positive, so I put a plus. Then I'm going 5 times negative 7h. And I know that this is a negative 7 because that negative goes with the 7. So I'm going to ignore the negative for now. So 5 times 7 is 35, and then I'm making it negative, so negative 35, and I just chuck the h on the end. All right, now I've got some like terms. So this has a h on it, and this negative 35h is a like term. And then in green, I'll just do these ones, so I've got a positive 4 and a positive 45. Cool. So. Now I can only put the orange ones together because they're like terms, they've, got, they've both got a h on it. So 4h minus 35h will give us negative 31h. And then let's do the green ones, so I've got 4 plus 45 gives me 49, so plus 49. There we go. So the moral of the story when you are multiplying, uh, when you are expanding brackets, is that you're going to be multiplying every single thing that's in the brackets by whatever's directly in front. Now, I strongly recommend that you get into the habit of drawing arrows, okay, because it'll come in super handy later on when you start doing really complex um, brackets multiplied by brackets. Anyway, cool. Thank you for watching.